name's Anita. Um, I normally work at A4I, which is Action for Independence, but at the moment I'm based here at Neil Doherty. And today we're going to make a friendship bracelet. Um, this is one made out of wool, so you can see it's quite a thick one. But the one we're going to make today is made out of embroidery thread. And that's the kind of size that you're going to end up with, the width of it. Okay then, right. It's quite simple to do. And these are all, this is all the equipment that you need. So you need a pen, scissors, some card, a button, and some threads. Okay, right, so. We're going to start off with drawing around something and cutting a circle out and a piece of card. So we'll start that now. circle right now with this circle in the middle of it we're going to make a hole so there's our hole that our thread is going to go through and then we're going to make eight slits on it so we're going to do one two three four five six seven eight Right, I hope you can see that. So on the edge, we've got eight slits, all about the same distance. Then we are going to cut those slits, to sort of do a little cut. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. You see we've got little slits in those, so there's eight slits in there. Right, now to actually make Kate, okay, we're going to get some cotton or some wool and it has to be about 30 inches long. Then we're going to fold it and there's, there's four threads, so we're going to fold them in half and make a knot at the top. So that was four threads that have been now made into eight, but we only actually need seven of them. So I'm going to cut one of the threads off right by the knot. So I'm going to take the blue one off. So right up by the, right up right the very, by the knot, we're going to get rid of that one. So we end up with seven, seven threads. Then we're going to thread this, push this through, and use the scissors just to pull it through, you see, so that's there, there's the knot, the knot stops it coming back through the hole, and then each thread we're going to randomly thread through each cut that we've made, so there's one cut, so there's one, Another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in each slit, we put some cotton or thread. Okay, right. So what we're going to do is, we have a free one here. There's a slit there, I hope you can see it. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold that at the bottom, and we're going to count three. So we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to pick up that thread that's in the third one, and we're going to put it into the spare one. Then we're going to turn it around again, so we've got the spare hole at the bottom, the spare cut there, I'm going to count again to three. We're going to go one, two, three. So I'm going to bring that cotton there. Turn it around again to where we've got the spare one and we're going to count one, two, three. We're going to
to turn it around again. There's the spare one. We're going to go one, two, three. And we're going to keep on doing that, turning it around. There's the bottom one that hasn't got one in. One, two, three. Okay. Now, I'm right-handed, so I'm doing it this way. If you're left-handed, you can do it from the other way. It doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you count three. So you turn it around. One, two, three. Turn it around. One, two, three. Maybe I'll tip it this way. So there's the bottom one. One, two, three. Turn it around. One, two, three. And then every so often, just give it a little pull, just, just to pull it through. So there's the bottom. One, two, three. And we're going to continue doing that. One, two, three. At the bottom. One, two, three. At the bottom. One, two, three. Turn it around. One, two, three. We're going to keep on doing that. One, two, three, turn it around. One, two, three, turn it around. I'm just going to do a few more so you can actually see it starting to grow. One, two, three, turn it around. 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 I don't think you'll be able to see that. Let me just do a few more for you. So three, 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 three. Okay, right. Can you just see that now? It's just starting to grow. Right. You keep doing that until you get to the length that you want it. Now this is one I've made earlier. I'll just show you on the camera that you'll be able to see it a bit better. Can you see it against that background? Can you see that now? Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put, take it off the here and put a button on it. So when you get it to the length that's going to fit your wrist, we're going to pull the threads out There it is. Then we're going to put a knot at the end of it. So there's our knot. There we go, right at the very end. Now I'm going to thread a button on mine. So I've got a pink button. So I'm going to use the pink cotton. I'm going to thread the button on. So, do it the right way. Around. And around. And just through once more. is a bit fiddly. So one more, just through because I've got four holes in my button. all through and now I'm just going to tie off my make another knot now through my button there we go so I'm just going to attach the thread that I've put through the button now 
Make another knot there to secure it. That's it. And you can either cut off the threads or leave them on whichever way you want to do it. Pull your button through. And there you go. Okay, thank you for watching. See you again. Bye.